That's this way I've always wanted to do them up. I let the coals go past the height of their heat. And I got this chopped sirloin, and I watched the guy grind it. Not a flake of fat. <laughs> and you know it's the fat dripping on the coals that make them all flare up and so the temperature's all over the place. And I don't want that for the coals my barbecue. So, I load them up. I let them burn at their own pace. And when I put the burgers over them to cook, the burgers have no fat to drip down and upset the ecology. Huh? The heat is what it is, and the burgers are what they are. The meat cooks, and the coals smolder and die their steady death. And at that moment, the coals are through with the subject of fire. The meat's cooked. That's what I'm after. The whole thing should take about 35 minutes. Now, I've been thinking about doing this for a while now. Now I'm doing it. Oh, there are these few things in life. These few basic things. Like eating. Or sleeping. Walking. And I've always been thinking about something else while I was doing them. So I never was doing what I was really doing. You know, when I was a kid, my brother Marty was a sleepwalker. Found him once in the hallway doing this motion with his hand. So I said, what are you doing, Marty? And he said, I'm playing basketball. He thought he was playing basketball. This kid, <laughs> standing in the middle of the hallway in his pajamas in the dark. And he thinks he's playing basketball. I think I've been like that a lot. Like I'm playing basketball or something, but really I'm in the dark, sleeping. Standing up. You know, they say that people who sleepwalk are really upset at something. But I'm not upset. Well, I'm pretty happy. Hmm? This is what this whole elaborate dance is I'm doing with the hamburgers. I'm trying to think about what I'm doing more. I appreciate it while it's going on. Make something out of it. Well, it's not just about eating the thing, stuffing it in your mouth and swallowing it. What's that? That's just missing the whole freaking point of life. You know, like you're walking around in a dream with your arms sticking out so that you don't bump into things like, like Frankenstein's poor monster. The thing that's made out of 18 different kinds of death. The thing that isn't truly sleeping or isn't truly walking. I mean, think about it, Billy. Do you, do you ever think sometimes, or, or felt sometimes, that you're asleep? Or drugged? Like you're in some kind of dream that you can't get out of. Do you ever feel like this hostage or addict or victim? Or have you ever felt sometimes or even thought for a split second Won't somebody, somebody just save me, slap me, wake me from this dream that I'm stuck in while my life is still lit?
Out on the island where I live is where you really see what's happening. It's incredible the extent to which they all live the same dreary lives, doing the same dull things. I've seen it grow. And it gets worse and worse. People, when they first move into the neighborhood, they always seem to have a great many interests. And they always seem interested in a great many things. But after six months, all they can talk about is crabgrass and bowling, what somebody else's wife is doing. That's where the danger is. It's not so much that we're going to look alike. I mean, after all, looks are only physical. But that we're going to think alike and have the same social attitudes. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. The same social attitudes. Right there is where the real danger is. I will. I will dream on. Because that's exactly what I'm talking about. My dreams. What you don't know, and what you don't think are important enough to know. I think this body is some kind of thing. I know what you're thinking. What a joke. You probably think I'm crazy. In the last three thousand years was Odd. A joke that is weird. I like to spend most of my time talking to an imaginary person, all the while pretending to be other people. You're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing that for? Well, oddly enough, this is how I get to learn about myself more. By playing a character, I get to discover what I'm capable of. And if I'm not capable, why am I not able? And then it really just becomes a journey of soul searching. So goddamn lazy and narcissistic, and we're willing to exert yourself a little and show some interest in the actual core of another human being. But you will not sleep with me because I will not perform some stupid mechanical pantomime. Like I was trying and failing to remember something fine, something alien, something from a better world, something beautiful and lost. What? You look vacant. Don't you get it? Look, I'll give it to you in the most basic modern American. I'm not interested in the hardware without the software. Look, um, let's just let this fall apart, okay? I'll get the bill. It was worth that much for me to have my say. If I think about it, I'll be stuck with myself for the rest of my life. My consciousness embedded in this body that allows me to experience the world. Life. So I might as well get to explore all of me. Every emotional department. Dusty corners of the mind that were left untouched and forgotten. Deep, dark depths of the soul that are too terrifying to even attempt to reach. The complex labyrinth that is the human psyche. Can't stay like I am. Can't stay in this fucking head anymore. If I, if I don't get out of this fucking head, I'm gonna go crazy. I could eat glass. I could put my hand in a fire and watch the fucking thing burn and I still wanna be out of this fucking head. What am I gonna do? What? 
can't just close my eyes, man. I can't just close my eyes and see the things I see. I'm still in that house. He's there and I'm there. My kid who is nuts already. It's like, what could happen now? You know, what else could happen? But something's got him. I feel like the day's gonna come where I could just put my arms out and fire and lightning will come out of my hand and burn up everything for a thousand miles. It ain't right to feel as much as I feel. I think life is about getting to know yourself and that hopefully at some point you will come to realize that you are the awareness through which you observe the existence of everything that there ever is. The fact that consciousness is a single way through which we experience life yet is one of the biggest mysteries we know nothing about will forever baffle my mind. We really are the universe experiencing itself. We are the observing universe. It's simply a truth that connects us all. Do you see it? I go so fast. We don't have time to look at one another. I didn't realize so all that was going on and we never noticed. realize life while they live it. Every, every minute. People say that life happens for a reason. But for what reason? Why must there be a reason? Things happen because of what? I don't think their universe was created with a purpose. A purpose to fulfill what? I don't believe in destiny. Destiny relies on the fact that the future has already been planned out. But time is not absolute. Time is a construct that we created to find order in chaos. An illusion that says that the past is gone forever and the future is non-existent. If you believe in the laws of physics, the past, present, and future all exist equally. Like a movie. Like this movie that you're watching right now. From beginning to end, everything that happens in between has already been created. So they all exist. It's hard to wrap your head around it, but... We can only view the universe through the limitation of our thought processes. The 
Life is short, yet we often forget to pause and look around and appreciate this moment. This moment right here. What happens when you stop thinking about what's next? What's next after that? And what's next after the next thing? What happens when you stop letting yourself swim in your thoughts and bring your awareness to what is right now? When I look around and see the crowds of people walking past me, I can't help but think to myself, we all exist. Every person is unique and no one can ever be exactly like another. We are all unique we all exist, and we all have a conscience. And this fact makes me realize that we are all in union. We all live in one world. Every person has a life story that they have lived through, yet we find ourselves under the same sky. I emphasize the fact that we are unique individuals, Yet, ironically, I feel like this is what connects everyone together. We're all connected, I suppose. We all have distinct, unique, individual minds. But the fact that we live under the same sky unifies us as a whole and connects us together. Which allows each and every one of us to take part in shaping the world as it is and which has always been this way since the beginning of humanity. Every day I wake up and I'm thankful to be alive, to be able to smile, to share, to create, to love, to be able to experience everything just as it is.